Hey, welcome back to Central Valley Buzz, everybody. I'm your host, Chuck Leonard, and let's, Billy, I want to bring in our next guest right now, Dr. Mikkel Suzanne Parsons. Hello, Hello. how are you doing? Great. Uh, you're, you're here to talk about the brain, something that I'm very interested in. You should be. Well, you know, I've, <laughs> I, I, I've had a little brain injury in my life, so I, I, I uh, like to talk about this kind of stuff exceptionally. Tell me about what you do. Well, through my personal health care journey, I ended up having some challenges with my brain functioning optimally. I was getting fatigue. I couldn't think clearly. I would literally fall asleep talking to someone. I couldn't repeat something back. And this was after several miscarriages and a lot of health challenges. Mm -hmm. So on my quest to figure out what was going on with me, I discovered that my brain waves were out of balance. I'd had multiple head injuries, things that I didn't think were that big of a deal. What type of head injuries? I fell water skiing up here at Pine Flat when I was 16. I remember you hit getting hard. I did not expect to fall, so I landed right on my face. Oh. I hit a submerged stump with my ski. Yeah, wow. that's not the best way to fall, but right. I remember being did very you get little. Out? I was a little loopy doo, and by the time I got home, I couldn't stand up straight, and okay. you couldn't touch anything on my right side, which started my quest into chiro chiropractic. Okay. But I remember my dad dropping me by accident as a child, getting the wind knocked out of me. I'm a competitive dancer, so I've hit my head. So all these little bumps, you know, when you are in an airplane and you hit your head and the sure. I, baggage. I, I, like, uh, the, like the football players are finding exactly. out Exactly. Right I got now. hit in the face with a football in junior high. <laughs> Mar Marsha Sporting. Brady action, huh? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't break my nose. But that all caused my brain to become out of balance. And that last miscarriage was very stressful. And I had to figure out what to do because I was getting ready to close my practice. That's how out of balance and I was. You're, you're a chiropractor? Chiropractor by training, okay. but I also am certified in nutrition. I have a okay. diplomate in nutrition and a diplomate in chiropractic neurology. Mm -hmm. So I have a passion for learning, but when you can't remember what someone just told you, learning is not even a question. So explain the, 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 the waves being off in the brain. So right now, you uh -huh. and I and everyone else in this room, we're making brain waves, alpha, beta, theta, delta, and we're supposed to, but they're supposed to be in a certain balance. So if you were going to sleep, as you were falling asleep, you were making theta. Theta is that state where you're not awake, but you're not asleep, you're just kind of tripping out. Yeah. That's my theta. Favorite, my favorite yes. place. Yeah. But if you're making theta all during the day, uh -huh. you start to make decisions based on emotion. Zero logic, you become very impulsive. I know some people that are theta. I know, <laughs> and they're not good to be married to because they are making really bad decisions. Right. If you're making too much beta, that puts you in a stress mode. Now, the brain is your GPS for your body. So if you put in wrong information, it's going to tell the body to perceive things wrong, mm -hmm. to behave inappropriately. So if your GPS is out of balance, you're not going to go from Fresno to New York. You're going to end up in Cancun, Mexico, which might be okay. Not bad. But if you wanted to go to New York, that's not going to be helpful. So when the brain is out of balance, the body becomes out of balance. So for some people, that manifests as ADHD, or it manifests as severe anxiety. I've got people that when they walk in, they can't even sit down. They're pacing. They've got the hoodies on. They won't make eye contact because their brain perceives they're being hunted by the tiger. That's not a healthy place to live in, mm -mm. because over time, they're going to have panic attacks. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> okay. That was Sorry not my that. phone. That Sorry was his about phone. that. That was mine. <laughs> <laughs> bad brain. Yeah. There we go. So do you forget to turn your phone off? Yeah, that's, I've had a bad brain. He wave. was just doing a demo <laughs> to show okay. what that would look like. So go, go ahead. <laughs> Sorry about that. So when the brain becomes out of balance, we start to see things like memory issues. So for example, I had a patient come in, he hurt his low back, we were focusing on his low back, but I pre-screen every single one of my patients for this brain imbalance because we don't always realize that we're out of balance. Mm -hmm. It's us, that's how we roll. Right, you just so, have a bad day. Exactly, or you know, I'm always high strung. But as I was reviewing the findings of his brain map, there was all kinds of memory issues that I saw that was happening and as I finished explaining what was going on, because in my mind, he was just going to get adjusted. That's why he was there. He looks at me and he says, I just want to let you know, Alzheimer's runs in my family. My mother and my brothers have it or had it that some of them have passed. And I have an exit plan. Until now, you're telling me that I might be able to change this. 
Wow. Whoa. Right. So now we're doing the brain retraining mm -hmm. to get his body back into balance, his brain functioning optimally, to decrease the likelihood of anything like dementia or Alzheimer's from manifesting. He they, just assumed that's how he was going to go. They, you, brought, you brought some video with you. I did. And, and, and it's about strokes? I talk a little bit about strokes and I think ADHD, but it kind of gives an overview as to why this particular therapy, which is drug-free, non-invasive, is so profound for keeping and getting the brain back into balance. The drug-free thing is, is the thing that I yeah. like right there. Yeah. And that's why you're natural path Fresno. That's right. right. Hey, let's take a look at this video. Thank you for taking time to watching this information on the brain. I just want to share with you a couple things that people may not be aware of. One is the benefit of this type of work in people who've had strokes. Now, strokes literally kill off brain cells. They're dead. And depending upon where that happens in the brain, symptoms are going to follow. Some people will get paralysis. Some people will lose their memory. Some people will lose their vision. And recently, a dear friend of mine had a stroke at the age of 40. Yeah, scary. And it took out the upper quarter of his vision in both eyes and his short-term memory. Now, at the age of 40, that's really scary. He was released from the hospital saying, bye-bye, that's it. This is as good as you're going to get. And I said, oh, no, no, you need to come in. We did a brain map. We started doing neurointegration therapy, retraining on him. And ta-da, his vision's coming back. Now, how could that be? The neurointegration therapy actually increases the function of the brain and the structure. It rebuilds neurons. So the brain literally grows in size and improves in its function. Now, that's on strokes. But let me tell you about some things that I see a lot in a lot of patients. They either have a history of drug abuse or post-traumatic stress disorder. Those two things are really, really scary things because emotions will hit you out of the blue and you might be doing some behaviors that are not going to set you up to thrive and could be a danger to you or others. With this type of technology, once we've done a map, it tells us the areas of the brain that are out of balance. And then we can go strategically retrain that area. And what I see time and time again is that these people who've been suffering, who have been addicted to drugs because drugs rechange, they change the brain waves, we're able to get them back into a pattern without having to do regressive therapy and reliving those traumatic moments and trying to work through all of these psychological aspects. It takes the brain where it's at, creates a healthier brainwave pattern, so the desire to use those drugs, the, oh, I'm stressed, where's the enemy, I'm going to attack, goes away. Oh my gosh, this is life changing for these people and it's all without using drugs and medication. Now don't think though that you could just do the retraining, you have to do your part. Eating the proper food gives the brain the information it needs, it tells the brain how to run. Exercising, movement's critical for brain health, but the key needle mover is doing the brain map to get the directions and then doing the treatment to get the body back into balance. And once you're in balance, studies have shown that that pattern, you can hang on to that healthy brainwave pattern for up to 30 years, unless you've hit your head, you run a high fever, or a lot of stress hits you at once, then you come back in and we get you back into balance and off you go. Wow, you know, I'm sitting here watching this, and everything you're saying is just hitting home with me. You know, after I had the, the three strokes, I, I, I was really lucky, doctor. You know, yes, I, you I, I, I was a lucky guy. I was in the hospital for a week. I stayed home for a week after that, and I came right back to work. And, and, there's, and that's there's, not typical. Yeah, there's people that are set back for years or forever. Right. For, from these type of things. Uh, for the people that are watching right now, uh, I. I'm going, to, I'm going to jump out and say I doubt this is take, uh, insurance takes care of this. Unfortunately, insurance does not acknowledge the benefits of biofeedback. They're, 
they typically are going to reimburse things like surgery and medications, Pills. the things that are more holistic in nature. That's not their right. That's not their stick. Th th that's not the uh, big pharma, right? No. There. So, how long when people start doing this until they start feeling a difference? Typically, most patients will notice a difference after 20 sessions. Now, I've got some people, though, one gal in particular, she's a school teacher, and one of the things that showed up on her map is she could not organize, could not do it in and her she's mind a teacher. and in her classroom. And after six sessions, she walked into her classroom, completely reorganized it to the point where other teachers wanted her to reorganize their classrooms. Wow. Now, that was after five or six sessions. Now, we've remapped her to see where we're at, totally different brain function. She remembers things easier. She's happier because she doesn't have that weight. The weird stress that you put on yourself. It's crazy. Right? Yeah. Not, not, not good. Now, is this affordable? Yes. It is. Good. I'm so it glad is. to hear that. Uh, and h how affordable? Well, depending upon what the map shows, because the map gives us the directions as to where the areas of imbalance are, and it, and it indicates how many sessions you may need. On average, most people need approximately 40 sessions, and then we remap. Now, we have created packages so people can buy 5, 10, 20, okay. or 40 sessions All right. at a time. All right, pay for them as they go. And then we give you a discount depending upon how big of the package, because nice. we do want this accessible. Sure. When I first did this over 10 years ago, the map that I had to pay for was $2,500. Wow. We now are mapping people for $200 in my office. I had to go down to Laguna right. to get it done. Right. When I first did the retraining session, I'm going to put you on the spot right now. Okay, I'm ready. I can take it. it if, if people that are watching right now, mm -hmm. if they called you, could, could they get a little bit of a buzz discount? Yes. If they call this month, uh -huh. which is July 2015, right. and you call and make an appointment, you can come in as a new patient for $97, Whoa. which includes the brain map. So you see me, you do the map, and then we do a follow-up, all for $97. Wow. But that will end the last day of the month in Ju uh, July. <laughs> June. No, July. Okay. <laughs> so take advantage of that. That's amazing. It is. This whole thing has been amazing. I could just talk to you this for is over and over and over about th this kind of things. Uh, you guys out there uh, with the Alzheimer's in your in your family history, uh, That's scary if, you've stuff. Had, if you had any type of brain injury in, in your life, trust me. I, if you I, have I've children been, playing sports, uh -huh. football, there's a lot of studies on professional get, get football get players. Early. Do it now. Right. Do it now. Doctor, thank you very, very much. What you're doing for the Central Valley is just amazing. Thank you. Uh, we're going to take a quick commercial break, and we'll be right back on the bus. Stick around.